as part of us as a group, we have our own ways of doing, giving back. Because giving back is the fundamental thing. But in order to give back, first of all, you have to be somebody, no? So, you know, right now you want to go and give back. What is your ability to give back? There was a man who came to Gandhi, you know, um, because at the time in South Africa, he had so many volunteers come to him from all over the world, and they came even from, you know, very well-to-do families and so on. So amongst that, a man comes up to Gandhi, and this is where the term rhythm came to us, came to my mind, and I took that and used that as the mission and the motto of the company. It's a slogan that's used all over the place. Rhythm stands for raise yourself to help mankind. It comes from this story. The story is this man comes up to Gandhi and he's a young boy. He says, you know, I want to serve you. I want to do Babuji. Babuji is what they call him lovingly, like grandfather, you know. Babuji, you know, what can I do to serve you? Tell me I will do anything. I will clean latrines, you know. And he says, okay, what are you doing? He says, I'm a student. You're a student? You're, are you in, uh, what program? I'm in engineering. What year? I'm in my final year. And you're coming here to clean latrines. He says, yes, uh, I, uh, I want to serve in one way or another. I do not want you know, to go back to college and, and live uh, an empty life. I want to serve you in whatever way I can. I want to serve you. Are you with me? And then Gandhi says to him, he says, what can you do? He says, I can clean latrines, I can plant. You know, I can uh, carry your bags for you. I can do all of these things. He says, we have hundreds of people to do that. Cleaning the latrine is not a skill I need. Cleaning toilets is not a skill I need. There are people who can do that, who have no other skill, and that's all they can offer. And when that's the best they can offer, I accept it. But you know what we need, what the cost needs? What the world needs, what the people needs, we need more doctors who care. We need more engineers who care. We need more lawyers, more professionals, more accountants. So first of all, go and be the best you can be, and then come back to me, and your offer will be worth it. Are you with me? And that's where the rhythm came from, that we use. First, raise yourself. Raise yourself to be the best you can be. Then you have something to offer. So you are right now in that situation where you can and you should and you must. When you, when you love your work, when you love what you do, you stop working. It doesn't become work anymore. You don't look at the 9 to 5 clock anymore. It becomes your passion. It becomes your vocation. When you love what you do, you do it all the time. Are you getting my point? And that's what you should do. Love what you do. And you can learn to love anything. Whatever you have to do, if it takes you on your path to success, that you have to achieve it, then learn to love it. Because there's no point suffering your way through life. When he says, I have fun every day, knowing he's going to die, and he was told six months. He says, I have fun every day. Are you with me? And if a man says that he has fun every day, knowing he's going to die, how different is that from you? The only difference between him and you is simply because he has a piece of paper that tells him when, supposedly. You don't. But we are all going to die. So now or later, it really doesn't matter when, because all you have is today. All you will ever have is today. Today is the only thing that makes a difference. Today is what can change lives. Are you with me? And when you realize that today is all you have, that tomorrow is not yours, then you need to live today differently. You cannot afford to chill out and waste today. The most powerful thing that I found when I went out to the Middle East all the time is 
everything they say, you know, they say, I'll see you in 10 minutes, they say, Inshallah. In 10 minutes, they say, Inshallah. You know, if you say, you know, I hope you do better, they say, Inshallah. Are you with me? So what does that mean? It's, it's the will of God. But if you take a look at that deeper, it's a very powerful message. It means live now better. Because tomorrow, next moment is not yours. If in 10 minutes you don't know whether you can meet me, then how are you living your life? You cannot even guarantee that you'll be here tomorrow. And it's got nothing to do with how healthy you are. It's not in your control. And if that is not in your control, then all you have is right now, then you must make right now count. You must make right now, make a difference. Are you getting my point? If this right now can help someone, save someone, do something, then that something is worth doing. Because if you were not there tomorrow, it cannot be done tomorrow. So change starts from that. A sense of urgency must be born. A sense of urgency needs to drive you. And that sense of urgency is what differentiates us from those one percentile. That one percentile, that one percent of the world that changes everything, they have a sense of urgency. They are in a rush. They are so focused, they forget to eat. They forget to sleep. And they never basically let anything else get in their way. Are you with me? Their focus is what makes the difference. If you set your mind, there's nothing you cannot do. You have to let the past go and focus on what you want to be. And then today, you make a difference. You have to be the change. You have to do the things that, you know, and don't care whether anyone laughs or otherwise. You have to be the change. And then the people, the world will join you. When you go out there and become the change, the world will join you. But first, they will laugh at you. First, they will look at you and say, you know, this is a crazy guy. If someone calls you crazy, you're probably on the right path. Not all the time. <laughs> the trick is to look at whatever you're doing and say, am I working hard at it? It's got to be a labor of love. Are you getting my point? If you're out there having a good time and everyone, somebody calls you crazy, it doesn't look like you're working at all, they're probably right. But if you're working at something that you're driven by to the point that you don't see anything else, that is the way to live life. Are you with me? You too can be the difference. Be the change and the world will change. Thank you very much.